Well, I put my stabilisation on today and uh, <laughs> and I'm going to try not as pan as much as I usually do. But uh, I've reached the end of the little phases that I wanted to do. And before they all vanish, I've got a group of, not all of them, but a group of the books that I've been doing. And uh, I find that I've been moderately successful. The big problem that I have found is that, and I haven't seen it mentioned anywhere, is that in the bigger books that I do, when you run into sort of five and six hundred pages, um, like this one here, I've got a smaller, smaller history of Rome, and I do love these, but I'm getting a bit frightened of doing them anymore because um, with them being big, they're rather heavy, and I don't think that paper that we use, this um, printer paper, is, is much good. Um, and I've been watching uh, a lady on the on the YouTube uh, called Amanda Buck, and she seems to be using 70 GSM, I think, in, when she does books with text in. But uh, what I've found is that when you've got the book on the shelf in this position, I tend to lie them down. The bottom of the book remains the same, but the top of the book starts to come away. And I'm just wondering if this is because... I've only got two um, two bands in at the moment. Um, oh, I can't remember the blinking tapes. Tapes, that's it. Uh, I haven't used ropes or anything on this. I haven't got that far yet. Good heavens! But uh, I've only got two tapes on, and I'm just wondering if I should have used sort of three or four tapes, possibly. Anyway, it's a bit late for these books now, so. Um, it is a bit of a disappointment that though the books went all these books are not all that good actually and uh, I, I did tend to stop doing the bigger books although I I, <coughs> I went crazy and did a um, this one here which I think is the history of England which I rather like but it is a handful with this paper I think I need lighter white paper than what I've been using it 80 GSM is a little oh it's a great story of the war uh, there's eight volumes of this, so I've got the second one done. Uh, I don't know whether to do any more. But the back has dropped on this one as well. Just ever so slightly. This has got three bands in it. Or three tapes. Um, I did take this up with three tapes. So I'm assuming that the more tapes you've got, the stronger it is. I haven't seen anything on it. So if anybody's got anything on this, put it on YouTube for God's sake. And I'll read it, I'll read it with relish and thank you very much. Um, yeah, so anyway, the smaller books, which you've seen this one before in one of my other things, uh, I can't get rid of this, <laughs> the book on runes. But there's no problem with these. These will stand in the thing quite happily. They'll stand up all day. And you'll see this one's been stood for a long time. And none of my books have got a, what I call a bow in them. They've got a bow inwards, but not a bow outwards, which used to drive me crazy. And I've covered that in uh, a couple of my other little videos that I do. I don't do book binding videos as such. I do little 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 snippets of things that I found that irritated me <laughs> uh, which possibly don't irritate everybody else. I don't know. Maybe they don't come across it. But uh, I try and do everything. I try and do all the reaches in, in whatever I'm trying to do and uh, I went for really big books and I came a cropper and I think it's because there wasn't enough tapes in the back. Now, if there'd have been as much tapes as there'd have been on these phony things at the back, if there'd have been as many tapes as that, I'd have been okay. That is, the thing would have stuck like a rocket. But there you go. Anyway, that's that's just a little point for anybody. If you're going to do lots and lots of text, make sure you tape up the back uh, really well. And I don't know whether I'm, I'm going to use a two ply board there, two mi two millimeter board. I, I don't know whether you should use three millimeter for st extra strength. I'm not sure. There's nothing mentioned on this at all. So I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know anything. But I'd like to know what what kind of paper they use because it seems lightweight paper that they use. Their books are much. Their bigger books are much lighter than the ones I make. Anyway, um, I've done my little cases. Um, there's my candy ones. I'm gonna eat them when I've finished. <laughs> they look good enough to eat, but uh, I don't mean they're good enough. I mean they, they look candy enough to eat. That's all. And. Um, I've sent for a little bit of wallpaper that I like, so I shall have a million books all in one kind of wallpaper. But uh, it's cheap, and uh, 
these don't last two minutes. All these books have already been, so apart from the big ones, I wouldn't give them to anybody, they're disgusting them. But the, the other ones I'm reasonably pleased with, and they're for my daughter obviously, I've, we've gone into them on the videos. And those little ones don't last long, and you know where them slip cases go in the dustbins. <laughs> and this one here I covered in there, I covered in book ram. Just to say that I could, it's 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 not a little lot more weight, but paper is a lot easier to handle. And uh, the fan, thing I find on these little books is they do tend to bubble. Oh God, they do tend to bubble that, with that book ram for some reason. I don't know what it is, but anyway, uh, I shall stop there. And uh, yeah, so that was the thing I wanted to talk about that the books, the bigger books. So if anybody's got any idea about strengthening them up or so you can stand them up in the correct I've got them laid down at the moment or laid laid down it, they're not too bad but they've definitely got a drop a drop in them um as you can see if I could get that curl on the back on the spine I'd be, I'd be very happy but if you look at it there you can see where it's dropped and the other side where it's sort of wilted <laughs> where it's been stood up so very disappointing I wasn't very happy with that at all but uh, they're not torn, they're not, they're not broken, they're not, uh, nothing, nothing wrong. But the pages do feel heavy. They, they, they do feel. I haven't edged the papers. They're like it's like Declan the, the edges on these, on these books. I haven't. Uh, I could have suppose I could have got them guillotined, but I didn't. But the pages do feel rather heavy and bulky. Not not like a, a proper book. For some reason, it looks like a proper book, but it feels really really heavy and uncomfortable I can't explain it, you'd have to hold the book to anyway you may find this in the dustbin somewhere <laughs> with a sad note on it anyway I'll close there, I'll, I'll do some more later on see if anybody likes these, I don't, I've got no idea anyway I'll see the